Taurus darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those who are new, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is, welcome to this channel. Thank you so much for joining this Capella crew. I'm so grateful to you for being here. For those of you who are returning, hello again. It's nice to see you, even though I can't really see you. And for those of my subscribers, thank you so, so very much for your loyalty, your love, your support. I am so eternally grateful and thankful to each and every one of you for putting all this love and energy into this channel, especially to those who put all these amazing comments in the in, in my videos. It's it's amazing to see the love and the support and the high vibe energies that I feel when I'm reading a lot of these messages. And I'm so thankful that you take the time to do that. Um, and not only watching my videos, but I'm so grateful um, that you do spend the time to send me these, these messages. It actually gives me more empowerment and encouragement to continue these readings. Because as you know, they tend to be long and, you know, doing tarot and expending your energy can be very draining at times. So I do appreciate you putting that love and that positive energy into your comments. Um, I do have one major announcement. So I am doing a Thanksgiving campaign for the month of November. I would greatly appreciate your support and helping me uh, fight world hunger by giving a donation to Action Against Hunger. Now what I'm gonna do is I set up a PayPal page to collect all the donations you can do it anonymously. There's no minimum donation. Donation Anything you give will be returned to you tenfold, okay? Money is energy, all right? So it's like the law of attraction, the law of give and take that I talk about in my readings. What you put into the universe is what you get. Even if you put a dollar in, okay? It's still going to come back to you, all right? It's what my sign says over here, give thanks. We are giving to those in need. So instead of me collecting donations for me and my channel and my business, I would rather collect donations for uh, to support action against hunger. Now what I'm gonna do um, on Thanksgiving day, which I believe is November 25th of this year, whatever gets donated on my donation page by November 24th, everyone has until November 24th, I'm going to submit one large donation on the behalf of Capella Wellness and this channel, which means it includes all of you, and make one large donation to Action Against Hunger on Thanksgiving Day, okay? The goal is to hit $500. I know it sounds small, but I wanted to give something. I don't want to give too little, not too big. If we surpass 500, that would be fantastic. But I'm, my goal is to reach $500 for um, my campaign for the month of November because it is Thanksgiving. And um, since there are many people who will not engage in feasts like a lot of us do, I would rather put my time, energy, and money into helping Action Against Hunger with their, um, their mission with fighting world hunger, okay? So there's a link to my donation page right in the description box. It goes straight to it. It's a quick couple minutes, one minute, 30 second thing. Um, if you go to capellawellness.com, I also have a donation button on my header on my website. Okay, so you can do it one of two ways. I have a direct link in the description box or you go to capellawellness.com and click on the donate button. Okay, I would truly, truly appreciate your support with this Thanksgiving campaign that I am running. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Thank you for being here. If you've been here before, Libra, I'm chitting it up a, get, a bit for this week. It's Thanksgiving week at the time I'm recording this. I wanted to spend more time with my son since my son has most of the week off. And my guides also um, suggested that I do the some shorter readings but still get messages out as I'm not fully there yet to do my more lengthy ones that I normally do. Okay, so and of course they also wanted me to enjoy the Thanksgiving break. Um, so what I've done is I 
wrote down channeled messages via automatic writing. If you don't know what automatic writing is, I get a lot of downloads, messages from the divine, my angels, my guides, whomever is assisting with this reading. And I write them all down involuntarily. They take over my pen, they take over, you know, in this case, the marker, and they wanted me to channel all of these messages on this marker board here. So that's what I'm doing here as opposed to pulling a bunch of tarot cards. I will pull tarot and oracle after I go through your messages. So stick around for that to see what else um, spirit wants to tell us or to confirm things that are already on the board, which tends to be the case with the readings I've already been doing. So um, we're going to start off with um, career and the messages pertain to career, money, love, health, wellness, and some extra stuff, names, places, objects, you name it, whatever comes through, I wrote here. Um, remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else who watches this, but keep your unhealthy ego in check. If we're not going to be listening to our healthy ego, we won't be able to grow, evolve, and to become our higher selves, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Remember not to force anything. If you know for a fact that it is not your thing, like it says you need more sleep, but you're like, I've been sleeping fine, then that message isn't for you, right? You kind of get the idea. All right, Libra, we're going to start with your career messages. We have, you know your heart is not in this job career anymore. Time to let go. Pursuing law, math, science may be enticing, but is that what your heart really wants? There is a career slash job you really want, but don't feel you're qualified for. Go for it already. No fear. They had it, had me write it in all caps. A major career change is in store for you. Don't second guess this. If you've been thinking about leaving that job, now's the time to do it. Your money messages are... A windfall of money is coming to someone, maybe by Christmas. Save more. Watch your spending, especially if you're in a romantic relationship. Balance. The job that pays less will end will end up surprising you with big gains in the end. Trust. Invest more in yourself and your well-being. Lack attracts lack. Your finances will improve when you focus and are in alignment with abundance. The love messages that came in are, he wants to contact you badly. Give it time. Keep focusing on you. Mend that broken heart. So new, more sacred love can come in. Someone will meet their soulmate by Christmas. Someone will marry their soulmate slash light counterpart, which is also a twin flame. I call them light counterparts because I was guided not to use twin flame in my readings. So someone will marry their soulmate light counterpart by Christmas. If you can't love yourself, Libra, how can others properly love you? Don't rush love. Be patient. Health. You need more sleep. Too much tarot messes with your brain. Not everyone is giving divine guidance. That's for somebody here. Eat more rooted veggies. Your root chakra is imbalanced. That also ties into lack, the financial issues here, right? Security and safety with money. Um, there's something with, I channel vision issues, go see a doctor. Foot problems, knee issues, go see a doctor. Drink more tea. Meditate more to calm your nerves, relax your nerves. Read a book more often. Go for long walks to de-stress. Now remember, I am not a health practitioner. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Okay? These are channel messages from Spirit. The disclaimer is in my description box. It's all over the place. So keep that in mind, okay? But this is what I was channeling as I was doing my automatic writing. So take it for what it is. You already know if you do have any one of these health issues or something like that, or a health issue that wasn't channeled and you got triggered by something, I would pay attention to your gut. Your wellness tip of the week is, same as Gemini's, listen to music that really uplifts you while you shower or take a bath and sing your heart out. Watch how much your vibration elevates. I do this every day, guys, every day, and it helps like you wouldn't believe. It keeps my vibration high. And when it lowers, I just go back to singing and doing whatever and making sure that at the end of the day, I take my shower and I still have my music and I sing my heart out. It really, really helps. All right. 
the extra things that came in were Victoria, Amory, Colin, Melissa, Sandra, Bill, Dawn, David, Kyle, Cindy, Angelica, Angie, Simon, Chris, Jesse, Blue Balls, that's what came out, um, Heart Attack, Murmur, Pigeons, Cats, Palm Trees, Bicycles, Banana Leaf, Couch, Miserable, New Love, Self Love, Pink Bow or Ribbon, um, what the heck does that say? Pigtails, Corona Beer, Crown, Keys, Eggs, Reindeer, Truffle, Corn, Rice, Turkey, somebody's cooking, Beach, you can send some of that stuff to me if you want. <laughs> Turkey, beach, sand, solitude, clouds, swan, hippo, hat, braces, teeth. Okay? That's what we got. All right, Libra, we're going to go pull some tarot from the Celtic tarot deck to see what other messages Spirit has for you. What other messages do we have for Libra at this time? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and, oops, your clarity. What other messages do we have for Libra? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. That one wants to come out. They're like, nope, take that one out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we have the seven of swords right deception lies betrayal maybe you're lying to yourself about whatever's on this board or some other things that, that might be coming in at this time um or maybe you were betrayed by someone or someone around you is not being honest here um yeah i i, I was like what is this so Yeah, this is really talking about, you got to release those negative thoughts, Libra. This is for some of you, not for all of you, okay? Remember this, it's a general reading, right? Lack attracts lack. Some some of you are like, you're not, you don't want to see it. You don't want to hear it. You're like, nope, 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 okay? You know, your heart is not in this job anymore. And we keep hearing that you're lying to yourself, Libra. And if you watch my readings before, you know there's no judgment, okay? Listen, I've been in low vibrational energies before, okay? I have to stop lying to myself too with a bunch of things. The job, my counterpart, like, you know, stop chasing. Stop being in a job that you hate now or you don't like. It's not fruitful. Stop, you know, um, not seeing the truth in the situation. And I didn't get to hear... By being in Seven of Swords energy, I didn't get to where I'm at now by lying to myself and trying to hide and trying to sneak away and pretend that everything was okay and every and things were fine and dandy. I had to stop. I was living in an illusion, okay? There's not Eight of Swords, but I read intuitively, so there's illusions here. And there's something with a green dragon here, okay? And I think I know who this is pertaining to and your name is on the board and you know exactly who you are and you're probably dropping your jaw right now. Dropping your jaw right now because I know you deal with a Libra. Anyway, that's for somebody specific who I know is watching this. So, um, either somebody around you thinks that they can get away with something or you think that you can get away with something Libra take it how it resonates but please be honest with yourself this is no knock on you there's no judgment okay we all make mistakes we all have low vibrational energies we're both dark and light okay whatever this is for you we gotta let this go either way we have to let this go I keep hearing it again stop lying to yourself Libra there's a career job you really want, but don't feel you're qualified for. Go for it already. No fear. Why are you self-sabotaging? Why are you doubting? Even if that message that I talked about, that I channeled about the career is not for you, you know what you are lying to yourself about, Libra. You don't have to do that anymore. And if you're self-sabotaging, thinking that you're not lovable, or like, you know, if you can't love yourself, have... How can others properly love you if you continue to surround yourself with this negative energy? 
people who lie to you, who betray you, who sneak around, who do deceptive things. You are not being honest. That's lowering your vibration. It blocks your abundance, okay? You really got to raise your vibration. And yeah, somebody here, too much tarot. And, and yeah, it did say uh, not everyone is giving divine guidance. There's deception here. Whether it's the certain readers that you watch or, or people that you're surrounding yourself with. Okay. You got to really see the truth of the situation. Get out of your head. And I know you're an air sign. You know, thoughts. Ideas. Sometimes monkey mind. Right? But you don't have to be in this. We got to drop this energy. So that more high vibrational, more harmonious energies can come in. All right? Now, for others, this could talk about strategic planning or secretly planning something. Maybe you're secretly planning something or somebody that you know is planning something for you and you have no idea. It could very well be a surprise, okay? That's for like a few of you here. And um, they want me to look at the love message that says he wants to contact you badly, give it time, keep focusing on you. This person is going to confess. Now I'm reading this in the reverse and I read intuitively, even though this, this card didn't come out in the reverse. Again, because that message is there, there are more positive things in the Seven of Swords for a few of you, okay? Somebody's going to come clean. Somebody's going to confess their feelings. That topic, but again, he wants to communicate with you, contact you badly. They, they want to say, you know what? I'm done hiding. I'm done living a lie. I'm done wearing a mask. This is also about wearing a mask. Whether you're wearing the mask, Libra, or some people around you, or your person is wearing a mask. But there is a couple of people here, a few people here, where that mask is coming off. And that's why they want to communicate with you so badly, because they cannot wear the mask anymore. Um, this also talks about, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming clean. Some things around you are going to come to light, Libra. And Spirit wants you to be prepared for this whatever this is all right but at the end of the day you really gotta be honest with yourself looks can be deceiving again with the job you're not qualified for looks can be deceiving a relationship that you're in looks can be deceiving Things aren't always what they seem, Libra. You have to trust your heart. Always. There might be a lot of conflict and crazy stuff going on at your job. And you know you got to leave, right? It says right there, if you've been thinking about leaving that job, now's the time to do it. Strategize a way out is what I just heard for whoever that message resonates with. There's a way out. Maybe you need to sneak your way out. I don't know. That's what I'm channeling. Okay. But, um, yeah, either you need to figure out a way, strategic planning with this card, or you have to really get away from these deceptive energies. And also for you, Libra, for those of you who are lying to yourselves and, and, you know, thinking you can get away with certain things, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. This energy will keep following you everywhere you go. And the, the shadow side of this card, if something isn't done about this. All right. And what's crazy is at the bottom of the deck is Capricorn energy. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. We have the devil. Some of you are very attached to the material world or you're attached to a job. You're attached to a romantic relationship that is not serving you. There's attachment written all over this. I'm seeing it in big, bold letters in red, okay? 
The devil is trying to deceive you is what I just heard. Be very careful. And yeah, they're pulling me back to the tarot stuff. There are some tarot readers. I, uh, you know, I, I have to send unconditional love anyway, because that's what I do. But there are some readers out there who are starting to deceive people. Okay. I've seen it. I've heard a lot of messages on it on um youtube other more you know harmonious more divine readers they want me to call them they're they're pointing this out a lot um be very careful with that it's like the devil's really trying to pull you in here libra again this is for some of you not for all of you with the tarot stuff or something with social media even okay this also talks about like some poor health here. Maybe somebody is working way too much and it's causing you to um, uh, sleep less. I did talk about taking long walks to de-stress. There's something about, you know, um, relaxing your nerves. That wellness tip is going to help with this. But it's only going to help so much because if you continue to be in you know, a job, a relationship, or some sort of situation that is toxic, that you are completely obsessed with or attached to, the singing in the shower every day is not really going to help, guys. You have to do something about the situation. You have to release whatever this is, okay? You're going to have to face your fears. Whatever fears you have with this energy surrounding you, you're just going to have to face that. Be like, you know what? I can't deal with this devil energy anymore. There's a lot of toxicity here, guys, with the Seven of Swords here, or the Shadow Sense, and then the Devil here. Let go of those attachments, those obsessions, addictions even. Some of you might just be like really, really bad with self-sabotaging. You do not trust your abilities. You do not trust your gut. You don't trust your own intellect okay knowing how brilliant you actually are how powerful you actually are my goodness some of you libra we got to get away from these energies you're giving a lot of power to the devil okay some of you are giving a lot of power to the devil we want to give power to god raise your vibration pray about this don't give in to these energies okay and if you know that there's something you need to do, you got to face your fears and do it. You got to get out of this devil deceptive energy. Be very careful who you surround yourself with. Be very careful who you talk to. All right. For the person or people here where somebody's going to contact you soon. This person has a very strong desire to communicate with you. That's why it says he wants to contact you badly. Because he, or it could be a she too, right? I wrote he just because that's what they, I channeled. But this person wants to come clean, all right? They're, they're done with this deceptive energy wearing a mask, all right? That's what I'm getting from this for some people here. But whatever this is for you, Libra, and you know very well what these two energies are talking about. Whether it's self-sabotage, you keep lying to yourself. You stay in these negative thoughts. This mental uh, instability here. Nerve, stress, and even though this is not Nine of Swords, I'm seeing it. Okay. The Devil and the Shadow Sense is like Nine of Swords on steroids. Okay. For part of this. You're not tied to this guy. You are God within. You are a child of God. You're not a child of the Devil. Nobody is. All right. Something in the 3D world has really got a hold of you, Libra, and you have to release that. It's time to release it. Whatever this is. Yeah, save more. Watch your spending. Material attachment, right? Be more in the light, Libra. 
be more in the light. And yeah, there's there's like a couple of people here who are just working too much, doing too much of something. All right, you gotta relax. So for, yeah, for some of you, your health is failing because of this, and you know it. You gotta be honest with yourself, Libra. And again, no judgments, right? I've been there. I already told you my story. It's a way to improve. You guys can get out of this. It's not the end. All right, let's see what guidance spirit has for you. Oops, let's do that again. What guidance do we have for Libra? Spirit guides and angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please and thank you. Wow. We have the protection guardian, drop your shields. The Oracle, wait for important information. And Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted. The bottom of the deck is the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. They want me to read the protection guardian first, so I will do that. Drop any shields of shame, Libra, resistance and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun. Know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have. You were born to shine. Sun card, bottom of the deck. The protection guardian is a feminine version of Archangel Michael. She is a fierce, protective, yet loving warrior angel who carries an indestructible shield of power and protection and will come to all who call on her. She will help you drop your fear-based shields and move into a loving, protective force field that will keep you safe, but will allow your gifts to shine out. Although she is here to guard you from your lower energy, she is completely relaxed, serene, and confident because she trusts that love will always prevail. You may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past, but that is not your present. Angels are drawing close at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe. Know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way. Call on your guides for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time. You are stronger than you think, and your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now. See? No more fear-based thinking. No, no, no more. Let's look at the oracle. Oracle. Oop, did I pass it? Here we go. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. The Oracle is the truth speaker and insight bringer of this deck, the ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend, someone who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is reminiscent of the Oracle of Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who is able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that has sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look beyond all you see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of every situation. What I talk about, looks can be deceiving, right? Things aren't always what they seem. Angels and ancestors in the universe are speaking to you at this time, so look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Again, sun, energy, truth, illumination, okay? Um, then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. Mother Earth is right before the Oracle. Allow yourself to be cherished, Libra. Mother Earth is protecting you with a shield of love and light. All right. 
You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Mother Earth is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light and it's important you know that and feel love. I was talking about you were a child of, of God, not the devil, right? The light. If you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love. Love heals all things. All things. Uh, the sun. Know that doors are opening for you, Libra. Follow up new projects, ventures, and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. Because you are being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. All right? So. Drop your shields. They wanted me to point that out again. Don't be so guarded. All right. You know what to do, Libra. You know what to do. Release the devil. <laughs> Look what's underneath the sun, guys. It's poking out. The night. Be brave and honest. You see? The earth guardian is at the top. Stay rooted and grounded. Was I not talking about the root chakra? See what I mean? Wow. Um, yeah, Libra. So it's time for you to release these energies. And yes, it talked about waiting, strategizing though, right? We're talking about strategizing something. Just take it easy. You got to ground yourself. You got to raise your vibration. Okay. You will come out of whatever this is, but it's time to be honest with yourself. Okay. Trust me. I know I've been there. All right, Libra. Well, if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out the description box below with information on how to book one with me or head on over to capellawellis.com. Check out my services there. And if you have any questions about anything, this reading, any questions about my services or whatever it is, you feel compelled to send me an email about send me an email. My email address is also in the description box. Also, this is my last week of my Thanksgiving campaign um, for supporting Action Against Hunger because it is Thanksgiving season. Instead of me asking for donations from my subscribers and my viewers, I would rather have you guys support something for the greater good of humanity, which is why I'm trying to consolidate all of these donations where I'm going to make one big donation to Action Against Hunger, either on or around um, Thanksgiving. It depends on when um, I transfer the money out of the donation, um, not donation account, uh, uh, from the account where the donations are going to, which is underneath my business name. Um, I'm making that donation on behalf of all of you or for those who make a donation. There's no donation too small. I had somebody who emailed me. They were a little bit embarrassed because it was small. I'm like, no, there's no such thing as a small donation. What you give to the universe, you get back. Even if it's a dollar, God will either give you $10 back or $20 back or a whole bunch of other things back. Money is energy, right? It's the law of equal give and take. If we have something to give, we should be giving it to others. And we get more in return when we do that. All right. So if you feel compelled to make a donation, I'm very close to my goal of 500. I think as of this video, I'm about 200 short or something. It doesn't matter if I get to that goal or not. I, a lot of people have contributed. I'm very, very grateful. So if you feel compelled to do so, the link is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, capellawellis.com and click on the, I want to donate button. Okay. Um, so that's about that. That's about that. That makes no sense. All right, Libra. Um, oh, if you make a donation, I'm already thanking you in advance for your support. Okay. 
All right, Libra, now this concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out. Thank you.